for every series, there's one really controversial question. Who is the best character? So we thought, why not make a video about it? And not just about the best character, but also the worst one. Stay tuned because you're either gonna love this video or hate it with a passion. But we can not promise you one thing, this won't bore you. But before we start, here's a little reminder that although we try to be as objective as possible, the whole idea of a best character is biased and depends on each person. Now that we are sure you won't destroy us in the comments, we can start the video. So we will begin with the original Total Drama Island. But there is a little problem. In this season, there are a lot of interesting characters. And since it is one season, the creators didn't really have much time to mess them up trying to make the story interesting. But if we had to choose only one, it must be Gwen. And no, we aren't promoting simping on this channel. However, to be fair, we all remember how most of us reacted when we saw Gwen for the first time. <laughs> Yet this is not the only thing that made her one of the fan favorites, but rather her iconic personality. Although in the beginning of the season she is presented as a loner and her attitude seems harsh and sarcastic, she is not actually that mean like some other contestants. She felt like the main character of the season because most of the action was centered around her, especially her drama with Heather and Trent. And now for the worst contestant of the season. Most of you guys will probably think that's Ezekiel considering his let's say traditional way of thinking. Well, guys are much stronger and better at sports than girls are. At least he doesn't think that guys are smarter than girls. But they are. But we can't be so harsh on him. Our man was literally homeschooled. So Total Drama was basically his first social experience. But if you think about it, he was a pretty funny character to watch, especially with his bad social manners. Instead, the title for the worst character of this season goes to Sadie. She was just boring and sometimes annoying. There was an episode called If You Can't Take the Heat, in which she didn't even talk at all. But that's okay because she didn't make it to season 2. Although the contestants from Total Drama Action are basically the same from Island, in this season they change a lot. And we're looking especially at you Trent, because you are the worst of this season. You obsessed over Gwen instead of keeping your head in the game to the point where it wasn't even funny anymore. It was just sad to see a guy everybody loved in the first season lose challenges on purpose just to get some attention from his girlfriend. Nine moats, nine flags, four letters in your name, five letters in Trent's, put them together and you get nine. In the end, we kind of feel sorry for him because despite his efforts, Gwen still dumped him. It's over. I'm sorry. I hear you. Ironically, the best contestant of this season is the same that eventually gets Gwen. Although Duncan was a typical bad boy fresh out of juvie, he wasn't a jerk. At least not with everybody. He was fun to watch, making sarcastic jokes and calling people out for their sh**. Besides that, during the season he was a strong contestant winning hard challenges and becoming the new leader of his team after Gwen's elimination. And he also showed some kind-hearted moments like giving Lashana the reward to see her cousin. Duncan definitely felt like the protagonist of this season. Total Drama World Tour is already the third season with basically the same cast except for these two imposters, Alejandro and Sierra. And even if we like it or not, Alejandro really owned this season. The dude was basically a winning machine getting rid of the other contestants one by one. He raised almost all the girls convinced Harold to eliminate himself and used Duncan as bait for Ezekiel after he made an alliance with him. His only weakness was his love for Heather. So in the Total Drama World Tour, the title for the best contestant goes to Alejandro. But who is the worst? The answer is Blainly. The fact that she was obsessed with fame and gossip was just irritating. The problem wasn't exactly that she tried to improve her ratings, but rather that it seemed like she tried way too hard. When Chris tried to do that, it felt natural, but in Blainley's case, it was like she was just trying some dirty Hollywood strategies for fame. Now we are finally switching to a new cast, because in Total Drama Revenge of the Island, we met the second generation of contestants. And here comes the controversy, because for the best contestant of this season, we chose Lightning. And we know that most of you will consider that bull 
but hear us out. Of course, there were characters like Cameron, Scott, and Mike that brought an interesting twist to the series, but total drama just can't exist without its fun side. And in this area, Lightning basically carried the season. Although he was a bit dumb, he wasn't that dumb. Just enough to make him funny. And also, he was a very strong contestant considering the fact that he reached the finals with his main ally betraying him. Not to forget that Lightning was the person to push Cameron to fight back against Joe. I hear you, dude. I'm not a dude. And I never kissed a Super Bowl ring. And I've never kissed a guy. Uh, yeah, it's cool, dude. Lightning don't judge. And the worst character of this season is Chris McLean. Because in this season, Chris was just at another level of insanity. He turned the entire Camp Awanakwa into a nuclear waste dump, affecting all the animals and plants. And as a kid, it was pretty sad to see Dakota turning into a mutant. From this season, the charismatic host that we all loved seemed to have turned into a straight-up maniac. And it felt more like he was just torturing the contestants rather than putting them through challenges. Sadly, he remains like this in Total Drama All-Stars. This is the first season when the two generations finally met and we all thought it would be fantastic until we watched it. And if we said that in Total Drama Island 2007, there were a lot of good characters, this season just happens to ruin the majority of them. Most of them became either weaker or dumber, just to make the new villain feel a little more threatening. Mal was supposed to be the biggest villain in all Total Drama history, but his worst acts were destroying the camper's personal objects. Come on, guys. He felt even worse than a Scooby-Doo villain, and he was even having contradictory strategies. If you want to manipulate Cameron and bring him to your side, why would you try to eliminate him right after that? It was just a waste of potential. So, the worst contestant of Total Drama All-Stars has to be Mal. After some not-so-careful analysis, we found out that the best character doesn't actually exist. However, if we had to pick a character, it would be Scott because of his interactions with Courtney. And now... <sighs> Pocketu Island. Here's the real problem. After two generations of contestants, the creators from Fresh TV kinda ran out of ideas. But they still managed to give us two interesting contestants that captivated this season. And these are Jasmine and Sean. But if we are going to be very critical and choose only one, the title for the best contestant must go to Jasmine. Besides the fact that she has insane survival skills, she is also a good leader, being emotionally involved in any interaction and helping others. Moreover, her relationship with Sean is one of the best things from Pocket to Island. But there are good relationships and bad relationships, like the one between Sky and Dave. And we say that because Dave is the worst character from this season. The guy was absolutely frustrating, and his simp behavior resembled a lot with Trent from season 2. And if that wasn't enough, he literally tried to kill Sky and Sean in the finale just because he learned that Sky had a boyfriend back home. At least there are no creeps in Total Drama Island 2023. Instead, the creators pretty much nailed it with a new cast. And here, the battle for the best characters goes between Julia and Bowie. But the ultimate character of Total Drama Island 2023 must be Julia. Her change of personality was the biggest plot twist of the season. Her role as the villain felt like coming back to Heather's mean style, but in times when everybody hides their true face on social media. And she also resembles Blainly with his desire for fame. Fortunately, this time, the creators didn't make her annoying. Although, the worst character of this season was a little bit annoying. And here, we talk about Ripper. He kind of felt like a weaker version of Duncan, trying way too hard to be the bad guy. In the beginning of the season, it was pretty annoying seeing him just make fun of everything he didn't consider cool. But hey, we can't say he was a total mess because he had his iconic moments. Although it is a spin-off, we will talk about the Redonkulous race as well. But here, we will choose a team instead of a single character. And the best team is Emma and Kitty. They were the classic yin and yang combination, with Emma being rational, introverted, and motivated to win, and Kitty being the exact opposite. At some point, they switched roles when Emma fell for Noah, but the situation returned to normal real quick. Talking about Emma and Noah, 
They were probably the best couple from this season. And they had the greatest supporters with Kitty and Owen constantly trying to hook them up. But do you know who didn't have any supporters at all? The LARPers. They were neither funny or interesting, or even good contestants. Just filler characters that were made to be eliminated. So that's it guys. What do you think about our list? Who do you think is the best or the worst contestant from each season? Make sure to tell us in the comments. See you next time.